My dad was in the Merchant Navy, and when I was little, he would be away for nine months and then home for three. So when he was at home, it felt different and sort of special. One night, when he was on leave, he showed me the night sky. He told me how he had learnt to navigate by the stars and pointed out key stars and constellations. He talked about a strange tool called a sextant, and I was hooked. I understood none of it, but I remember looking and looking and wondering how far back the stars went, how many years they'd been there. And it's left me with a lasting fascination for the stars, the moon, the planets and the universe. When he was away, I knew that he too could be looking at the same stars and I imagined that we might be doing something together. My dad wasn't an astronomer. His knowledge was practical. To get from A to B, to do his job. Like so many sailors have done, over hundreds of years, like humans everywhere have done since they first started to travel. Ancient Polynesian sailors in the Pacific made crude star maps out of twigs, which were accurate enough to help find their way from island to island. The astrolabe dates back to ancient Greece, when it was used by astronomers to help tell time and was first used by mariners in the late 15th century. But now we have technologies that ensure sailors can accurately be sure of where they are. However, I've just learnt that the US Navy are bringing back training in celestial navigation, as threats of cyber attacks on increasingly high-tech positioning systems becomes ever more a concern. Celestial navigation finds its place again. Once you know the stars are always there, even if you can't see them, for example if it's cloudy or even daylight, then there is constancy. People have been looking at the stars, finding their way by them, telling stories about them for thousands of years. And for those thousands of years, we have all been looking at the same stars. Navigating by the stars helps us find our way and maybe can help to support us through life. 